right now we're on our 14th family. When Carol Barman's last child moved out of the house, she decided she wanted to spend her time giving back to the community. I want to do something for somebody, and I kind of found this program, and for me it's been awesome. At church, Carol found out about Catholic Community Services and the resettlement program. She teach them English, do homework with their kids. Um, help them with, you know, taking them to doctor's appointments if they need that, basic life skills. Carol now organizes other volunteers who spend six months helping families adapt and even greet them at the airport for their first day in Utah. A lot of them hadn't even used a toilet. I mean, it's like showing them how to use a toilet and running water and a vacuum and um, what a microwave does and a stove, those kind of things. One of Carol's first experiences, the Musabi family, a single mom and her children that fled Afghanistan. If she is American mom for us, American mom, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Carol's influence helped the 17-year-old son earn a spot on the Olympus high football team. A sport that he had never really heard of until recently. One of the main things I love is just learning a different culture. All of the refugee volunteers pay out of their own pocket to help these families. Well, maybe we can help them pay it forward, so Carol, Meet Sterling Nielsen, president of Mountain America Credit Union. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hi, Sterling. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, you do? Oh, my gosh. We have this envelope. Oh, my gosh. $500. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. That's great. Thank you so much. Hey, one of the biggest things here is helping these kids uh, get some English skills, and they always need more volunteers to help with that. If you're interested, we have a link to Catholic Community Services on our website. Just go to KUTV.com and then click on Pay It Forward, and while you're there, you can nominate someone you know who's doing great things in the community.